Sprint car news today from Spencer based in KCP Racing and Rudine Racing. Plus, we'll talk the World of Outlaws at Husits, Summer Nationals results, and more. Uh, let's go. Today is Wednesday, June 22nd, 2022. Welcome into Dirt Tracker Daily. I'm Justin Fiedler. We'll kick today off with a few sprint car news items from the past about 24 hours or so. First, it's been teased for a few days here now, but CJB Motorsports and Spencer Basin announced a new title sponsor this morning with camo brand True Timber signing with the team through 2023. The deal starts this weekend at Houston Speedway with True Timber now on the blue and black number five sprint cars. Basin currently sits 7th in the World of Outlaws Sprint Car Series point standings with 1 win, 10 top 5s, and 19 top 10s in his first full season on tour. With Casey Kane missing races and Noah Gass down the order, Basin is all but guaranteed to be the Rookie of the Year with the Outlaws for 2022. And in his weekly uh, top 50 over at SprintCarUnlimited.com, Jeremy Elliott is reporting that KCP Racing recently parted ways with Crew Chief Dylan Buswell. Adam Clark, who was the car chief, has been bumped up to head wrench going forward. KCP and driver Geo Selzy have two outlaw wins this year in 22 appearances, along with three top fives and 14 top tens. They haven't won, though, since Bakersfield in March and most recently picked up a pair of eighth place finishes at Beaver Dam this last weekend. They've only made five all-star starts this season with just a single top 10. They had a third place finish at East Bay back in February. We should see Selzy and the KCP 18 at Husets this week. Uh, a little surprised by this move uh, there. We've had a couple of different crew chiefs there now on that KCP 18. Hopefully they can find some stability going forward. And we had 35 cars at Skagit on Monday night for the Dirt Cup tune-up, and the field should swell even further this weekend when the event kicks off. Rudine Racing's owner, Kevin Rudine, is a partner in the new ownership group at Skagit, and with the All-Stars off for a bit, the Rudine squad is headed west to race for the $50,000. Corey Eliasson will be there in the 26, but they've added a second car for the weekend with Zeb Wise set to drive the 26R as a teammate to Eliasson. Eliasson normally drives uh, his own car with partner Wayne Pretty over on the All-Star side. Wise is currently fifth in the All-Star standings with two wins and 15 top tens. While it's been a struggle so far for Eliasson, he's currently eighth with an average finish of nearly 12th for the season and just 12 top tens in 27 races. Dirt Cup kicks off tomorrow night up there at Gadget Speedway. Speaking of sprint cars, the big high bank nationals weekend at Houston Speedway in South Dakota kicks off tonight for the World of Outlaws. Tonight's race is the rescheduled program from earlier in the month that was pushed back because of wet weather. It will be uh, 10,000 to win and the standard outlaw format. For the rest of the weekend, though, things will be different in terms of format and how the cars will be lined up. Thursday and Friday are prelim programs uh, where teams will qualify as usual. Heats will then have six car inverts, uh, normally no inverts with the Word of Outlaws, and drivers will earn points through both heats and time trials. The top 20 in those points will then be locked into the night's main events. Those features pay 15,000 to win and 20,000 to win, respectively. After Thursday and Friday, the top four in total points will be locked into the King of the Hill, with everyone else going to four qualifiers. The qualifier winners will also be moved on to the King of the Hill with second through fourth in those races locked into the Saturday feature. And then everyone else from there on back will be headed to B and C mains. The eight car King of the Hill will set the first four rows of the 3,000 to start and 100,000 to win a Saturday night main event. So a very different setup here uh, than we're kind of used to with the Outlaws, but not surprising given the nature of the race. The setup is also very similar to the Jackson Nationals, which uh, Houston's owner Todd Quiring also owns the Jackson Motorplex. So uh, not, uh, not crazy here to see uh, similar formats between their kind of big events at the two racetracks. In terms of the World of Outlaws Championship, I'm waiting confirmation on how points are being handled for the weekend. I don't know if it's a full points weekend all week or if guys are just getting show up points, maybe show up points for certain nights. I'm not sure yet. Uh, so as soon as I hear back about that, I'll pass that information along. Over the past few years, I have five Husets Outlaw shows in the DirtTracker.com analytics database. David Gravel has won twice, including most recently last August. Aaron Reitzel has a win, as does Kyle Larson and Sheldon Hoddenshield. In average finish, Donnie Schatz and Brad Sweet lead the way, both sitting at 4.6 uh, over those last few races. Gravel is close, though, at 4.8. In qualifying, Kerry Madsen and Aaron Wright will lead the way each with an average time trial position of second. We won't see Madsen, though, as he's out west at Dirt Cup. I'm guessing, though, we will see Wright with his TRD-powered sprint car. 
The DirtTracker.com analytics prediction formula favors points leader Brad Sweet tonight. And 3 8 mile tracks are right in his wheelhouse with 17 of his 56 wins over the last five or six years coming at tracks this size. I'm going to go David Gravel here, though. That team has been pretty good here lately, and Gravel will be extra motivated this weekend as his car owner owns Husits, and he carries the track uh, as his sponsor uh, most weekends. Gravel will have a different look, though, at Husits this weekend. He's sporting Billion Auto as the sponsor on that two car. It's a mostly white paint scheme. If you aren't headed to Husits uh, tonight, you can watch all of the racing live over on Dirt Vision. And the Summer Nationals opened week two last night at Springfield, and at the end of it, it was Brian Shirley picking up his second win of the season. He started fourth and was by early leader Peyton Freeman after a lap 17 restart. He led the rest of the way and survived a right rear tire going flat over the last few laps to bag the $5,000 victory. Bobby Pierce and Max Blair completed the night's podium. It ended up being a pretty frustrating night, though, for both Jason Fager and Ryan Unzicker. Fager ended up uh, in the work area on two separate occasions with two flat tires, but raced back to ninth. And then Unzicker started third, had a pretty fast car all race, but got caught up in two incidents, almost back to back, uh, and had to fight his way back forward in the late stages. He ended up eighth, but did give up ground to Pierce uh, as uh, Pierce finished second on the night, like I just mentioned. So headed to Adams County today, the smooth operator leads Unzicker by 28, with Shirley third, 37 points back. No Dennis Herb Jr. last night means he fell to fifth in the standings, and we're now down to seven drivers that have raced in every feature so far this year. No modified Nationals last night at, uh, at Springfield, so uh, no changes on that side in terms of points. They are joining back up tonight, though, at Adams County. Through these first seven races, we've had four different winners on the late model side. Chris Simpson, Pierce, and Shirley all have two wins apiece, and Unzicker has one. Unzicker and Shirley are the only two drivers with top 10 finishes every single night out. So far, we've had 98 different drivers contest a Summer Nationals event in 2022. If you aren't aware, Adams County is what used to be known as Quincy Raceways in Illinois. Tommy Shepard Jr. was a Mars late model winner there back in May, and the last Summer Nationals show there was in 2019. Mike Marler was the winner that night. And no shock here, Nick Hoffman, the most recent modified Nationals winner at Adams County. As is the case for all of these Summer Nationals races, you can watch them live tonight uh, over on Dirt Vision. And I know it's been a while since we did one, but I dropped a new Conversations episode yesterday. Dirt Vision's Chase Rodman hopped on with me to talk all things World of Outlaws in advance of the big weekend at Houston's coming up. We talked points, a bunch of different drivers, and more, and you can find that episode uh, on the YouTube channel or in the podcast feed. And I do want to thank commenter Jay Peterman for the $10 super thanks on the Chase Rodman episode yesterday. I really appreciate the support and you tuning in. If you aren't aware, underneath all of the YouTube videos where you would also click the like and share buttons, there's another option that says thanks with a heart next to it. That is the super thanks button and is basically a way, a, uh, a way to tip me if you would like to do that. If you want other dirt racing audio this week, Wing Nation has Terry Gray, Loud Pedal has Jacob Denny, Passing Points has Justin Peck, Forward Bite has Will Harrington, Quick Time has JJ Riggins, Dirt Tracks and Ribrax, uh, Dirt Tracks and Ribrax, easy for me to say, has Shane Cockrum, and XR's All Gas, No Brakes has me on it. There are also new episodes of the Dirt Reporters, the Dirt Nerds, and the XR Super Series podcast. Head over to dirttracker.com slash podcast to check out the full list of shows and episodes. The streaming schedule has five shows on it today. Dirt Vision has the Word of Outlaws from Houston, like I just mentioned, and the Summer Nationals from Adams County. Flow Racing has the weekly program from Action Track USA and Flow 24-7. And Speed Sport has weekly racing from Buena Vista. Uh, to see the full daily streaming schedule with links to watch, visit dirttracker.com slash watch tonight. That's it for the show today. Have a good Wednesday. Enjoy a little bit of that racing tonight as well. If you have thoughts about the topics on today's show, please leave them in the comments below or tweet at me. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow for more Dirt Tracker Daily.